Hello, and welcome back to American Au Pair Host Mom. I'm Lisa, and today we're going to be talking about the fact that there's more potential for the J-1 visa ban to be lifted here in the United States and to help get more au pairs here sooner. So is it lifted is a big question. And the answer is partially. The reason why this is the case is because there have been a couple uh, federal court cases trying to challenge the um, new executive order that President Trump uh, initiated on June 22nd. And that order said that uh, several different visas, including the J-1 visa, would not be issued uh, anymore. And this was due to the fact that he felt that uh, it was not beneficial to our country because we are in a pandemic, our unemployment has risen, and therefore he's putting a ban on visas to try to give Americans more chances to get employment. And while this is a nice thought, there are debates about whether this helps or hurts. So specifically on the J-1 visa, obviously those that have au pairs do not agree. And there have been several companies who also do not agree because other visas such as the H-1 visa that uh, is used for tech companies to get visas are also affected. So like I said, there were several court cases. Um, some did not succeed, like one that happened in, I think, Maryland and it actually ruled that Trump's executive order ban was within his realm of uh, legality and he upheld it. However, on October 1st, Jeffrey White, a judge in North Northern California, actually said that it was not legal and notwithstanding. And his exact quote was that it was beyond pre uh, presidential authority and he questioned his evaluation of the economic impact of uh, these visas on America's economy. So with that statement, that means that those plaintiffs, that means those companies that brought that court case to that judge, those companies and their employees are now not having to follow that executive order ban. What does that mean for host families? That means you need to find out if your agency is a member of any of the following. And I will put this in the comments along with links to each of these so that you can investigate this a little bit more. But it is the National Association of Manufacturing, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. This is actually one for sure that has a few au pair agencies in it. Ones that I know of are Cultural Care and your au I'm not sure you say it, Euro Au Pair, like Europe Au Pair, E-U-R. Uh, they definitely are members of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, but there may be others. Um, three other companies were the National Retail Federation, TechNet, and Intrax. Now, Intrax actually owns Au Pair Care, so that means Au Pair Care is covered in this injunction. Um, there may be others, and I would suggest not only looking into those links, but definitely contact uh, your agency. Go up as high as you can to figure out what this injunction means and what they're doing to get your au pair into country as fast as possible. I know, for instance, that I am with Au Pair International and they contacted me a couple weeks ago right after this injunction saying that they were looking into it and believed that they could get my au pair faster. I have not found proof that they are part of this um, group, so I guess that remains to be seen. But definitely making as much noise as possible, investigating and talking to higher ups in your agency organization cannot hurt and certainly can possibly help. So that is your answer that it's a partial lift and now it could change. So just because this federal judge found this to be illegal and is now letting au pairs get visas, um, the federal government does have the right to appeal. And so we are also advising that you keep uh, track of the US Department in regards to this and what they're saying. I'll also put a link there. At this time, the White House has made no mention of this decision and any comment or um, reaction to it. Uh, some think that it's possible that we only have two and a half months until that executive order ban expires anyway, so perhaps this partial lift will hold. So that is pretty much all I got. 
If you enjoyed this video or you want more information, in fact, there is a national interest exemption that most host families can apply for, even if you're not part of this injunction. And I'm gonna put the link to that video over here. So please go ahead and listen to that video about the uh, J-1 visa national interest exemptions. Or if you wanna learn any more about any other subject on being a host family, uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll list some popular ones here for you to check out too. And again, if you liked it, subscribe and click that little bell. Thanks.